My name's Catherine Hurrell and I'm doing a lesson on straight line graphs. This lesson's going to be with Year 9, um, a low group, so CD borderline when they get to GCSE. And we're looking at it by doing some practical applications. So on the floor I've marked out a grid, I've got my XY axes and we're going to do some practical work to try and um, get the idea of the gradient and the y-intercept. We'll start with a nice one. And then we'll get a bit trickier. So, can I have four volunteers to try and uh, find a pair of coordinates that will work? Okay, Jordan, Laura, Summer, and Josh. So, people on the side, just take a look at where they're going to end up standing. Josh, can you read it out loud? X and Y add up to five. Okay, brilliant. So the rule is X and I then got um, the students to try and find some coordinates that would fit the rule and to practically stand in the position so that they could phys physically see what's going on and what happens uh, when you get lots of points that all fit the same rule and that it does end up in a straight line. Jordan, what point are you standing on? 4-1. Very good, you're standing on 4-1. Summer, what point are you standing on? Um, 2 Right, two, three. Two, three, thank you. Josh, what point are you standing on? Um, one, four. One, four. Laura, where are you? Um, zero, five. Very good, so zero, five. What do you notice about the points that we've found? They're in a line. Brilliant, well done. We've got a diagonal line going on here, OK? So we've found a diagonal line. Is there anything you can tell me about this diagonal line? Josh? It goes up in one. It goes up in ones. Jordan's one. Yep. Summer's two. Josh is three, and I'm five. Up. Yep. So each point, the numbers are going up one in the coordinates. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. So this one, it's a diagonal line, and it changes by one each time we move. The reason I've done it this way is um, it's novel. It's a different way of approaching it with the students. They um, they tend to um, be able to see it in a visible way, so it gives those visual learners um, a good kind of clutch to hold on to, and later on they can then refer back to it and go, oh, yeah, I remember that lesson where we were all pretending to be in a straight line. Obviously, there are challenges. The behaviour management of the class is going to be an issue because it's not a normal setup. Um, but once you've got them involved and up and going, then I think the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages. So our rule for this one is y equals 2x minus 2. Megan, what are your coordinates? Um, 4 and 6. 4, 6 is the next set of coordinates. Uh, Rob, where are you? 5, 8. 5, 8. It's the next set. Brilliant. And Tom, where should you be? Uh, 6, 10. 6, 10. Now, if you look at this diagonal line, do you notice anything about kind of how much you have to go up each time to get there? They go up in twos, don't they? They do go up in twos. Brilliant. Well done. Yeah, if you look, every time we go up one in the X, we go up two again in the Y. Do we notice anything about those rules? Summer? Um, on those last two ones, um, it always like was 2X, so it's two times something, because um, on the first one we did, the diagonal was going down, but on the last two they're going up, because they're timesing. Brilliant. Well done. If you look, as Summer said, these two both have two x's in, OK? What do you think would happen if we had a rule that was y equals 3x add 2? Summer? Then they would go up even further because it times y3. Excellent, well done. So if we had a rule which was y equals 3x add 2, it would go up in threes because it's multiplying by three, as Summer said. Brilliant. Well done. By doing this, um, the idea of the gradient was starting to come out, seeing that the steepness had changed depending on how many x's you had in your rule. So we got that 2x meant you went up two each time, and Summer managed to work out that 3x was going to mean it tripled, so it went up three each time. Um, and now I'm getting them to have a go at uh, trying one of the rules themselves, and I'm going to see if they can find out the uh, same thing with the gradient. Hopefully they'll spot that if we manage to get the intercept as well that'll be brilliant but I'm not sure we will this lesson.